both MapReduce and Spark shuffle data across the cluster. Spark sometimes shuffles even more data compared to MapReduce. Why doesn't that make Spark is much slower? So this is one of the interesting interview question asked in one of the data engineering interview. Any one of you know the answer before, please add it into the comment section. Let's see how many of you can answer it correctly. So to answer this question, let's dive into the diagram. So in case of the map reduce, it can have the map and shuffle over the network means the some shufflings will be happen and finally reduces will come into the picture and finally the data will be result over to hdfs in between there will be one hdfs steps will be available so spark how the spark shuffling will be work out here is spark can group the multiple operations into one stage and then it will shuffle the data and again it will combine the stages means it will optimally combine the multiple steps into group it together and then shuffle out the data so and also it will do a lot of optimization before it can shuffle out the data so spark can group many operations into stages and place the shuffle files only where absolutely is required to talk about the few more points is spark reduces the number of shuffles by combining the two to three operations into one under one stage spark uses better serialization compression and batching sending less data over the network spark keeps the data in the memory before and after the shuffle spark scheduler keeps the cpu busy while shuffle is happening and reduce the time if you see the data set which can do the join operation in case of the map reduce it will create the two jobs one is for map and reduce and to join a and b data set and finally write the result into hdfs in case of the job 2 it will read the data again from the hdfs and can write the final map filter final output to a hdfs again so it requires two jobs and multiple jvms that need to be initialized and killed in between in case of the spark it is a single job all the operation will be combined under one particular pipeline so that is how the spark can efficient in case of the shuffling so shuffle is never free spark is faster not because of the shuffle vanish but because it optimizes how often shuffle happens and how much data they move will keep the everything in else memory and the fast i hope you like something new in this video please give a like share 